the monuments we leave today will not come through the education system or the university system because they haven't taught how to make monuments for nearly a hundred years. The term sculpture has come to be a wide variety of media from baskets to paper. But in the traditional classical sense, sculpture is sculptura, where we get the word scalpel to cut and to carve. In the true classical sense, a sculpture is in stone. I began my career at 14 years of age, actually 13. This picture is taken in 1970, standing in front of the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. This was part of the Panama Pacific Exhibition in 1911, I think, celebrating the Panama Canal. Little did I realize when that photo would be taken, I would be enlarging Sterling Calder's work, one of the major sculptors from the exhibition. At that age, I was working for Dr. Fairbanks, pretty much full time on a work scholarship program funded by Job Corps. Dr. Fairbanks began his education in 1912 at the Ecole uh, des Nationales Beaux Arts in Paris when the modern art movement began. My education is sort of a hand-me-down, you might say, from the Beaux-Arts era. I worked in a studio similar to this with large overhead 100-ton cranes being able to move massive amounts of plaster and marble around the studio. My duties were to make, help make clay models, plaster molds, and carve marble. I referred to Sterling Calder earlier. This was a star maiden. By the time I was 24, I enlarged this star maiden, this 48 inch star maiden to a 12 foot statue, taking me only two weeks. In the early 80s, I became uh, well known for my enlarging uh, abilities and being able to know the old school techniques. My proposal is to take this model that I have started to develop of Bless Relaxes and turn it into a stunning piece. Right now it has many defects and flaws that I'm not satisfied with. The clumsy handling of drapery and the clumsy handling of the wings and the feet even. I want, I've made a study of the beautiful wings from Italy carved uh, uh, by Italian craftsmen. I want to get the beautiful loftiness of the feathers that they, ha that they have in Italy and just make it into a stunning masterpiece. <clears throat> this, the way we produce something into marble is you make a clay model of your representation you prepare it to have, accept a waste mold. A waste mold is where your work will be destroyed in the process of making the mold. This is not for the faint of heart. It takes many years of skilled labor to know how to throw up a waste mold. You throw the wet plaster directly onto the work that you've uh, achieved. Your work may take 60 or 80 hours to complete, and it takes a real a stout character to be able to throw wet plaster onto your work. This is called the blue coat. White coats of plaster are subsequently applied over the blue coat. The back half reveals the blue coat and is now ready to accept the other half of the plaster. After the mold has been completed, you separate the mold, put, re, removing the, the clay, and prepare, cleaning the mold and preparing it to accept the wet plaster. After the wet plaster has set up, you remove the mold damp with a chisel down to the blue coat, revealing the white of the sculpture underneath. 
This is an example of the plaster that's revealed from the waste mold. Careful measurements are taken from the plaster and transferred into the marble and finishing and completed by uh, finishing the, the chiseling down to the points. This is an example of the process. My proposal is to use Carrera marble, the finest marble in the world. It is less expensive to go to Italy and have the marble uh, reduced in size by pointing than to ship an entire block to the United States. This is an example of a craftsman who's probably had these skills handed down for many generations, transferring the map. This is transferring the point from the plaster into the marble. An example of the wonderful craftsmanship that they have in Italy. There are many grades of marble. The highest, some of the highest grades is the white statuario, but the best grade is the white Michelangelo. My proposal is I'll do the majority of work will be done in-house, including all life-size work. I'll make all the molds. Any out-of-studio work, such as carving, I'll be there 100% of the time overseeing it and completing it. One month of modeling of the angel, one month for molding the plaster, 20 days of shipping the plaster to Italy, two to four months carving the, Ital the angel in Italy, 20 days shipping the marble or plaster to the USA, 10 months to no longer than 12 months to completion. Great art will never be legislated. The duty of the sculptor is one of the most sacred. The sculptor must embody the idea and make his representation as noble as the concept or spirit of the idea. The sculpture we make today will live through the ages long after we pass. The primary gauge for future generations, for future societies will judge us, will be not be like legislation or economics, will be our monuments. The question is up to us now. What will future generations think of us? Will they admire us or revile us?